All right, what's up guys? It's been a while, I just wanted to make this video. It's gonna be a very short video. I just wanna go through every team, look at all of their players on each team. I just wanna, while I'm doing this, I wanna explain my life right now because I'm not gonna be uploading very many videos for the next week or so because I'm actually getting married this Saturday, this Friday, not Saturday, this Friday. That's awkward. It's Friday, I'm getting married, so the very next day on on Saturday is what I'm, why I said Saturday, going straight on the honeymoon. So from then, it's a five day cruise. So we actually won't be back until that Thursday, but then after all that, we have to do all that legal stuff. So Corey Crawford on the Buffalo Sabres. Yeah, so all that legal stuff with the, she has to change her last name. You know, all like our licenses have to change, like driver's license, driver's license, whole bunch of that stuff. So basically this is gonna be the last you're hearing from me right now, but I'll be back soon, you know? I'm not gonna give up. It's just gonna be a little over a week or so before I upload the next video, maybe under a week. Maybe I do it on Monday. Maybe it's just a week, so it's not, anything too serious it's not anything too much so yeah yeah so here we go I mean I don't really know what else there is to say my phone's kind of going crazy right now so I mean yeah but getting married it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun time for us so really want to take a step back from this. I don't want to stress myself out. You know what I mean? So we got so many 84s on the team. Yeah, but yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. So I'm just going to keep looking through gear. I don't see anything too. I haven't really been paying attention. I've just kind of been going through it all. I haven't seen anything that surprising yet, though. Zach Moe rings up at an 80. Yeah, but nothing like Oh, snap, he's on that team. Nothing really that serious. So, yeah. Got Edmonton, Connor McDavid, Killer Yamamoto up on the first line. Oh, man. Defense, goalies. Up oh, that not. I, why do they even have this? No lines. Why do they even have that? Florida. Thompson up on the second line. Look at that. Defense. We got Johnson down on the third pairing. LA. Nikita Sherback on LA. Forgot about that. Defense. Yeah. Goalie. Jimmy Howard. Look at that. On LA. Minnesota. Jonathan Taves. Minnesota freaking crumbled, man. Everybody's on their trading block. I'm surprised they still have Jonathan Taves. Goalies, Gavin Dubnik, Jake Allen. Montreal, I got the, the franchise guy that first year. Up to a 93 overall already. Um, Victor Mete, Shea Weber, goalies, for Price. Nothing big happened there. Taylor Hall. Ooh, second line center already for this guy. Pretty sure they had a couple other created players. Oh, no, just this guy. He's down here on the, on the fourth line. Sammy Vatten is still there. Goalies, Snyder and Olmark. Yeah, I just wanted to like fly through this because I'm still kind of busy today as well. So once I'm done this, I got to go get wedding stuff set up probably for the rest of the day. And then I get up for work very early in the morning. So I'm going to have to be back here for at least nine o'clock, get some sleep. And my family's also up. So I, I wanted to spend time with them as well. So I just wanted to make this video. I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. I didn't want to just up and leave without saying anything. So hopefully you guys all get this video by the time I we leave. Because then this video would be completely meaningless as I would already have been gone. So Pittsburgh... Yeah, nothing big there, nothing big there. How about goalies? Nothing big there. We're almost through the lines. I'm I'm thinking about doing the created player stats as well. We'll have to see though, because that usually takes 
quite a lot of time, but I I probably will. I probably will. It's not that big of a deal. It doesn't take, oh, my, I forgot about this. The OV Stamkos Kucherov line. And like, it's not even like the rest of their team is that bad either. Like these are all great players. Look at this. How, I mean, their last couple defense isn't doing too good, but even their goalies, like, look at this, man. Tampa Bay. Anyway, what was I saying? Something about getting home, going to work, something like that. But yeah, so, oh no, I was talking about the stats, create player stats. So, we'll see, we'll see. I'm flying through this right now, like, we're almost done. We're in Vancouver already. Golden Knights. I don't even know who this is. Oh, he's a created, not a created player, a freaking random player. First round, first overall pick. 88 overall, my gosh. Put him on the first line. Get rid of Mark Stone. Dude, 88 overall for that guy. Winnipeg. I believe Winnipeg is last. So, yep, there you guys go. I didn't really go through them myself. I just wanted to share with you. So, yeah, that was fun. All right, I'm actually going to do this now. So, Cirillo is an 80 overall, 20 years old, 8 goals, 4 assists, 49 penalty minutes for her. Smith is up next. we got a bunch of them on our team. 82 overall, second line forward already. Look at those stats, man. I love that guy. Sergey, that sounded very narcissistic. I met as a player, created player. He's not really me. Sergey, 79 overall, 15 goals and 13 assists, leading our team in points. 48 overall, Ray Wyndham, 5 goals, 7 assists, not doing too bad himself. Believe that's it on our team. And now for, no, we got the goalie. That's not it for our team. I always, always, always forget about the goalies, man. Always. Lassard, 78 overall, 21 years old. I don't think he played a minor league game yet, but that's where he's at right now down in the AHL. So now we got Anaheim with Marcotte. Let me go back to all skaters. Where is he at? Their potential, not potential, I always say that. Their trade value is still all going up. But he's a 77 overall, 21 years old. He's not doing just as good as anyone, everyone else. But he's a fourth line forward right now. Still in the AHL with those, those points. Up next is Carolina. Unless a creative player got traded and I didn't notice. I, I keep them all tracked on my phone just in case. But Carolina has Yost in blue. They've been scratching these guys since day one. So, yep, look at that. Neither of them have a point, they're, but they're both up in the NHL. All he has is WHL stats, and he doesn't even have anything. They have yet to play a game, these two. I feel so bad for them. Up next is Chicago. Chicago has Beckering. Where's Beckering at? Right here. 80 overall, 21 years old. 10 goals, 10 assists for 20 points in 37 games. Up in the NHL, Beckering. Yeah, you just saw that? Seeing as how you just took a look at all the team's rosters and their lineups. And Colorado has Jones and Kane. I know Jones is Jay Jones right there. 79 overall, 21 years old. Seven goals and 12 assists for, let me guess, he's a two-way forward. Okay, I would have guessed Sniper, seeing as how he had more assists than he does goals. But goalies, here we go. Hat Trick Kane down in the AHL. Looking like our scouts have him as a starter, but we know he's a low elite. And he has 16 wins in 29 games down in the AHL with just under a two goals against average. Two shutouts in the mix down there. Up next is Columbus Blue Jackets with Meza. Where's Meza at? He's definitely a skater. He's definitely down here still, right here. Up in the NHL. Oh yeah, I think he was on the third line, second or third, I forget which. Nine goals and five assists. Doing pretty good for himself. 14 points in 37 games. Not too bad, I think. Anyway, up next is Garepi on the Dallas Stars. I, oh, I can never find this man right here. 80 overall, 21 years old, 9 points, not doing too bad. But then again, he is a, de he is a defender. 
you know, he's on Dallas. I think Dallas is doing pretty good right now. So, yeah, he's probably down on the third pairing. And up next is Detroit. Detroit has quite a few of them. Oh, my gosh. Look at all the potential here. Anyway, we got... Who do we have here? Who's going to be the first one? Zach Mowring, 21 years old, 81, 80 overall, 9 points in 37 games, minus 10. Gregory Tunis is another one up in the NHL, but they're not playing him right now. But his last game was last season in the OHL. So it's not like he hasn't played in forever. They got Rory Watts up in the, not up, but down in the AHL. 79 overall, 21 years old. Not doing too bad. 21 points in 37 games. Pretty good for down the age. Oh, there's one more, I thought. We got Summers. Where did Summers go? Summers. He's definitely not this far down. Right here, Summers. 80 overall, 21 years old. Solid 11 points in 37 games. I believe that was everyone. Yeah. Up next is Edmonton Oilers. We got, who do we have? Edmonton has Harrison, that other guy, and Janda. Here's that. Here they are. 81 overall, 21 years old, 12 goals and 9 assists. Look at that guy. 12 goals in 37 games. And then Harrison has 7 goals in 12 games. They both up in the NHL. Yes, they are. And then the goalie. Where's he at? Janda up in the NHL as well. Yep. 78 overall up in the NHL. 5 wins in 9 games. That's not too bad. But a 3 goals against average isn't the best. But, honestly, he's not doing too bad at all playing on the Edmonton Oilers. Because, you know, we know Edmonton. Up next is our rival, the Florida Panthers. Look at all that trade value. Now, let's scroll down. Where are they at? There's Johnson, the defender, with 49 penalty minutes and 6 points on their third pairing. And here's Thompson on the second line, I believe, with 10 goals and 7 assists. For a solid 17 points in 37 games. Going positive up on the second line. Look at that man. Up next would be my team or the Kings or the Wild. But we already went through my team and neither of those two other teams have a player. So Montreal has Hextel and the other guy. Hextel right here. 79 overall. They have him scratched unfortunately. Zero points. So where's the other guy? He's a goalie. I always forget this man. Right here, 78 overall, 21 years old, 5 wins in 11 games. 0.68 goals against average is not too bad. Down in the AHL. Doing solid, I would say. Up next is the Devils. The Devils we looked earlier, both of them are in the NHL. Right here, he's actually second line, I believe, this man. With a grand total of 17 points, 8 goals, 9 assists, and 37 games. And then Shane Marchand right here, also in the NHL, 4th line right wing, 80 overall, 8 goals, and 7 assists. Almost, almost, is that the same amount of points? What was that? So he right here has 15 points. Yeah, no, just 2, he actually has 2 less points than him. But like, he's on the 2nd line, he's on the 4th line, so... They're still doing pretty good for themselves. And up next is the Islanders. Where are they at? Where are they at in this list? What are their names again? Robert Sim Carmona Els. I'm gonna it's gonna be like a wrap one day. So here's Carmona up first. One goal, eight assists in thirty seven games for the defender. Brett Roberts, eight goals, eight assists in thirty seven games. I always get so confused with Brett Roberts because it just sounds like a created player, but or like a randomly generated one. And here's Sims, 79 overall. Unfortunately, he's scratched as well. Zero points, zero games played. And last but not least, they have Els, correct? I thought he, there he is. 78 overall, 21 years old. Nine goals and 14 assists. I don't know why he's 70, oh, because he's in the AHL down there. 78 overall. Probably on the first line. Those are some nice stats. 14 assists for the sniper. Oh, man. Uh, of course. Now the Rangers with Laporte and Labarge. Oh, man. Rangers are going to be killing it in a couple years. So here's Emsley. They got 80 overall. Six 
goals, 8 assists, 20 penalty minutes for the grinder. Labarge is also up there in the NHL with 10 goals and 5 assists, 37 games played, another grinder. New York loves the physical play, what can I say? 78 overall, 21 years old for Mark Laporte, down in the AHL with a very consistent 13 goals and 13 assists in 37 games. One more, Stenstrom, 77 overall, he's not doing too good for himself, the two-way defender. I don't know why he's not simming just as good as the rest, but 6 goals and 12 assists in 37 games down in the AHL. I believe that was it for them. Yes, it was. Ottawa is up next with Bo, not Bo, was it Bo Beagle? Yeah, it is Bo Beagle. Where is he at? Bo Beagle, 81 overall. Third line scoring forward, 12 goals and 8 assists up in the NHL. Look at that. The Flyers are up next with Deauville and company. Where are they at? Deauville right here up in the NHL. His potential is completely unknown to us and that's because he's scratched. Last game he played was down in the queue. 80 overall, 21 years old. But they play Maramon. But I mean, I guess he's a defender. 79 overall, 21 years old. Three assists in 37 games. The two-way defender, 49 penalty minutes. We got DuPont down in the AHL, 7 goals, 12 assists, 77 overall for the offensive defenseman. That was all of them on that. Now Sharks got Montanay. Where is he at? There he is. Look at that. 81 overall, 21 years old. 2 goals and 6 assists for the left wing 2-way forward. 37 games played up in the NHL. Up next is St. Louis Blues. St. Louis Blues, here we go. What do they have? They have Beverage and Nasse. I'm waiting for somebody to hit the freaking free agency so I can get one of these guys. 10 goals and 11 assists, 37 games played. Where's Nasse? There he is. 77 overall, 21 years old. 13 goals and 11 assists down in the AHL. Yes, he is. Both of them are actually. Not doing too hot. They're not simming too well, but... They could, they could take a spike up, you know what I mean? Tampa Bay Lightning has the goalie up in the up in the NHL. No, he's down in the AHL now, Colton is. Oh yeah, because we traded, we traded him a lock, so we pushed. Don't worry, don't worry, Colton, we're letting you develop better. 23 games played down there, 12 wins. Solid 2.01 goals against average. Has yet to get a shutout though, but there's still time left in the season for that. Up next is Toronto with Trudell. Where's he at? Trudell. Oh my gosh, look at all this. Look at all of this, man. And we have we have Marner from them. Trudell, there he is. 78 overall, 21 years old, 12 goals and 13 assists. Not even a single penalty minute. Some of, some of our players have 40 some penalty minutes. Some people have nothing. So up next would be Vancouver with Bashera and Farcone. Where are they? Even Vancouver has some decent players up there. And Morgan Frost. Oh, Philadelphia. 78 overall for Farcone, 21 years old. 13 goals and 9 assists up in the... No, down in the AHL for Farcone. Still developing a little bit more. Give him that final push. Who's left? It's Bashera and Farcone. Oh, there he is, Bashera. 79 over, overall. 20, of course, he's 21 years old. I say it every time, but it's always the same thing. 17 goals and 14 assists. Has to be down in the AHL, right? Yes, he is. He's killing it down there. Up next is Washington with O'Hara and Arseniu. Where are they at? Oh, there's Arseniu. 78 overall. Again, scratched. Zero games played. Zero points. And last time he played was last season down in the QMJHL. How many points did that say he put up? Did that say 100 points? Where is he at? 100 points in 60 games and they're having him scratched in the NHL. That makes sense, Washington. O'Hara, though. 76 overall. He might be the lowest so far, unfortunately, for the playmaker, too. I figured a grinder would be the worst. But he has a solid 14 goals and 13 assists in 37 games down in the AHL. So it's not like he's 
slacking either. He's still putting up some numbers. But last but not least, we have the Winnipeg Jets with the goalie. Where's he at? Right here. 77 overall, 21 years old. 10 wins in 13 games. Look at this man. He is killing it. 1.3 goals against average. Five shutouts. Half of his wins have been shutouts. My gosh. 375 saves. That's crazy. This man is doing better in the AHL than he did in the OHL. Wow. But anyway, guys, that's it for all the created players. Like I said, it's going to be a while for the next video, but still stay tuned. Still stay tuned. It's going to be a fun next episode. We got the rest of the season, the trade deadline, everything. So don't miss out. I'll see you guys later.